Hey everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to the 35th Flutter tutorial. Today we're actually not going to do a whole lot of coding. I'm going to show you how to set up a live template. Here's why. Every tutorial, uh, you see me type out the same old you know, design pattern. Um, and I think we've solidified that in our brains now, uh, what everything does. And I make a lot of typing mistakes, and it takes me a while. And usually the first five or ten minutes is nothing but me typing very badly, I might add. <laughs> so, uh, um, so like we'll say class my app extends stateful widget and then of course we do this class underscore underscore state and what we can actually do is we can use what's called a live template so if you just type s and you'll see there is some right here so there's a stateful we're just going to say stateful widget double click on that and bang it types most of this out for you that's called a live template and we're going to actually just fill this in a little bit here. And then we're going to say run app. New material app, the home property of new my app. And then down here we have a, why is that returning a container? That's just weird. New scaffold. And then in the scaffold, we're going to say at bar equal new at bar title equal new text name here and then see body. Whoops. Here we'll do a new container padding edge insets whoops let's do a new edge insets do a new column and children we'll just say new text Mad widgets here. And let's just run this just to make sure that everything is exactly the way we expect it would be. And I got my emulator already up and going here. All right, so this will be the kind of design that we're choosing, the design pattern, which is pretty standard for a Flutter tutorial or a Flutter application. So we'll have an app bar and then we'll have our widgets here. Now what we're gonna do is take this whole thing and just cut that and we're gonna go to settings. And if you don't have IntelliJ, I'm sorry, I don't know if your IDE of choice will actually support this or not. You may have some IntelliJ variant though. And anyways, we're just going to make sure you're in the Flutter and you're just going to add a new live template and we'll say Flutter, whoops, Flutter Tut and here we'll say Flutter Tutorial. And we want to make sure that it is in shortened, fully quantified names, notification defined, we want to do Dart top level and then just paste that text in there. Hit apply, hit OK, whatever you want to do. Now we should be able to just say flutter tut and bang, there is all the code. Um, that will shave about two to five minutes depending on how horrible my typing is that day off every tutorial. And we can just move on from there. I think we understand the concepts of stateful versus state and stateless and all that. So that should save some time. And that's it for this one. We will resume the flutter tutorials in the next video. Thank you for watching.